10 out of 10 recommend don't get fat don't get fat because your big ass gonna have to work out to get it on this brother ball black woman lost 100 pounds and ran straight to the streets <laughs> like share subscribe if you're new hit the bell for a notification let's go ahead and get the video started social media is on the screen links in the description let's go ahead get it pop you're saying skinny girls could take more Anybody, all my guys, comment below. Let me know. Skinny women take the deepest dick every time. There's no question. You really gotta be ready to skinny. But the fat girls give the best head. No, the fat girls got the juiciest, wettest, creamiest. Okay. They got more moisture and meat around that. But there's some extra circumference in that. And the intangibles, the internals got an extra layer too. You know, like when you go in the cage, you got the stalactites and the and the at uh, the bottom. They got that shit all the way around. It's gushiness though. Yeah, it's warm. I ain't gonna lie, you can tell Unk definitely got some battle scars. <laughs> He's going from big shorties to little shorties, shorties. We're asking this guy, can he buy me something nice? Even though I knew I wasn't the prettiest, I knew I. But she was like a leapfrog. Let me show y'all his response. So y'all, I asked this man, can I get a few high price items, right? Nothing too major, just a little Chanel bag or whatever. And look what he gonna say. Entitlement is for beautiful women? Like, I'm not beautiful? And then he doubled down on it by sending me this video. To really beautiful young women can't afford to be entitled. Life is easy for them. The looks matter. And for our first date, he even <clears throat> sent me to McDonald's. That's when I decided to start listening and take matters into my own hands. I needed to lose this weight and get to that 2.0 point a week. But she so looked like a spider. So I started researching best weight loss products and found ZapFat on Google. Got my red box in the mail fast. Took two pills a day and in no time, boom. The change happened so fast he wasn't expecting this. Now he the one who my phone. Ooh, okay, big girl. Okay. <laughs> She got a big girl voice. What did you get? You can tell she used to be big. But I can't stand when a girl do that. I told you I was going to teach that nigga a few lessons. He bought me Gucci, Versace. 38,000. What we thinking? We thinking this for real or this for fake? It's kind of wild, gang. I hope this for fake. I hope this for fake for your sake. <laughs> a happy home. And then you work on yourself, lose over 100 pounds, and become unrecognizable, both inside and out. You hang out more and ultimately step out on your marriage. There's hurt, pain, and a divorce. You live life with regret, but your story is What I thought at the time was love, I had never felt that before. Ever. I have never felt so more desired in my life. Mm. Ever. What's the with your husband difficult? Very. Why? Because I only wanted the other guy. Wow. I'm obviously not yours and you're not mine. Mm -hmm. But well, I don't he was mine. He was mine. I'm sorry, honey. Mm. He was mine. Does she, how did your husband find out? I confessed. I couldn't sleep. My conscience was eating me alive and I was exhausted. I was ready to leave my baby, leave my family. This was nice. I love y'all. I see y'all on the weekend. I wanted to be with him at all costs. 10 out of 10 recommend don't get fat. Don't get fat because your big ass gonna have to work out to get it on. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot to say about these two clips that just passed, but I think to just keep it short and keep it sweet and keep it to a minimum, we're just gonna go ahead and do the laugh of ignorance. I am fully aware of what y'all say about me. Number one, and I don't give a f like I had a dude that I was talking to, um, the coaching client who was very well to do, and he had been a, like a chubby dude his whole life. And he suddenly is losing a lot of weight, and he's hitting the gym, and he's dressing better in the whole nine yards. And I say, "Be careful, dude." I say, "You're um, you're this guy who's never really gotten attention, and you're yep. wealthy, and now all of a sudden you're saying, here I am, world. Don't be surprised if the women come knocking.' He's like, "Well, I'm not like that. That's that's not me. Nothing to worry about." <laughs> Thirty days later, he's in an emotional affair with some twenty-some-year-old who, of course, into his DMs and said, "Hello, handsome." And he's like, oh, "I 
attention for I've never talked to a woman like this and away they go. After being with his wife for 15 years, they were together for 15, married for 12. She had the gastric sleeve. Four hmm. years ago, she lost over 100 pounds. She was sleeping with his best friend of 20 years and he had to find out about it via Facebook. Hey. So he's telling me his side of the story. You know, how the whole custody, they're currently going through a divorce right now, how he found out about it, how, you know, his soon-to-be former in-laws are on his side, they're, they're very disappointed in her, and so on and so forth. I noticed that he was looking at my licensing photo at my station, so he's finishing up his story, and he's like, is that you on your photo? I said, yeah, that's me. So I said, you know, well, I'm going to share something with you, you know, if this is triggering, we don't have to discuss it. He's like, no, 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 I want to know. So I told him, I'm, I'm a very educated patient. You know, I love over 155 pounds. You know, I am married. I've been with my husband for eight years. We've been married for six, so on and so forth. And he was like, really? Wow. He was like, you have such a good aura about you. Like, how do you stay so positive? And how was your husband throughout the whole process? And I told him, I said, you know, my husband is a great man, you know, this journey is amazing, I said, but at the same time, you will be tested. The grass is not always greener on the other side, and I just always hold myself accountable. I and I was explaining to him, you know, what keeps me what what keeps me humble and what keeps me accountable is the fact that in a blink of an eye, my life can be altered. You know what I'm saying? And I could just crash out. And I can go back to the old ways, not taking care of myself, not eating clean, and just knowing that when I go home at night, I got a good man at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the compliments are nice. Yeah, it's, you know, it's fun, blah, blah, blah. But it's not worth losing what I what we've built over a flame. It's not worth it. Like I stated before, you know, the grass is not always greener on the other side. It just appears that way. I ain't gonna lie, I actually really like what she said because she's telling you, like, it's not worth it. Like, you gotta look at it from that point of view. Like, just because you're having a little rough patch, because some of y'all just really think when the times get hard that it's just time to give up and stuff like that. When it's really time for you to just lock in because really, when times get hard, that means when, that means that times are finna get 10 times better. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, like, that's just one way to look at it. But yeah, like, I don't understand why some of y'all really just want the easy way out. Y'all just want to go find a new uh, sleep mate and stuff like that. And then just make it harder for the person that you quote unquote love, but you love them. <laughs> y'all don't really know, man. Stop playing. Stop, stop joking, bro. Y'all just, y'all don't get it. Y'all really don't get it. Y'all just want to sound like y'all know what y'all talking about, but y'all really don't. Wait, let her know from jump. I, you already know, hoes. Oh, if I get fat, yes, I'm leaving you. I'm gonna let you know. Yes, that this not who I came in this relationship with. Why? Why you wanna do this shit? You was working out before you came to me. You was getting yourself right before you came. That's to a relationship me. way. Everybody was getting a relationship way. Man, look, that means you ain't happy and some shit going wrong. How did you cheat on me? I was ovulating. You don't know women. You haven't grown up with women. My my body. I'm just listening to my body. We are chemically created. I have this chemical. Thing in me where I have to reproduce my body. I was just listening to my body, you know. Um, I was at the club. There was a man there, cute, a couple drinks in. I was like, my body was like, reproduce. Shut up. <laughs> Why she look like the dog she holding? <laughs> You can't be with him. Like, 
that's his homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got, we left. We, I met up with him. And we was, you know, we was chill. We was chill. We were drinking or whatever. And I started venting. I started venting. You know, like I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with his friend. But things happen. Things happen. Like, y'all understand what I was going through. So, you know, his friend ended up giving me some money or whatever. And he was like, you know, babe, look, don't worry about it. Do handle whatever you got to handle. Like, his friend was every single thing I desire in a man. Like, everything I desire in a man. And, you know, ain't nobody trying to hear my side. Ain't nobody trying to hear me out and what I went through. Like, it's, that's not okay. <laughs> it's not about me. You made a promise to me and you broke that promise. How am I wrong if I told him who I was and he didn't stick to, he didn't stick to what he agreed to? Like, that's not love. If you love me, you're going to pay no bills. You're going to do what you told me you was going to do as a man. Oh boy is a hook. Oh boy, he get money. He get money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, it's just too much. All these, like, everybody coming for me and stuff like that, and it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not. Now, lady, I ain't gonna lie. You sitting there saying his money is our money while your money is your money is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And a whole lot of you modern women be saying that 24 7. Especially you black women, but it's not just you black women, but you black women be running away with that like y'all got enough nerve to say that for real. That's your wig, but that's not your hair. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and end the video off here though. Like, share, subscribe, and do hit the bell for the notification. And I'll catch you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then share with a friend, share with a family member, and make sure that you smash the like button because it will take the video further in the algorithm. And we're gonna push out more videos that way too. So, anyways, yeah. If you wanna see Pop Balloon videos and Gold Diggers and 20 V1s and all that, check out the channel called Rage and Fredo in the link in the description. So, anyways, yeah, go ahead and do all that. Uh, it should be videos on the screen, so check those out, and I'm going to go ahead and catch you next video. See you later. Hope you had a good one. All right, bye.